YouTube kittens, it's Kathy Cat, and today from my new place, which is not quite finished yet, and I don't have a couch to sit on, so I'm gonna do this video standing up because, uh, well, no couch, and yeah, still, still a couple of things to do. I got my fridge yesterday. I'm so excited because we have 33 degrees and over in Japan right now. It is incredibly hot, and uh, today I'd like to say first of all, thank you very much for 12k followers on Instagram. Thank you so, so much. I was really, really happy when I saw the news and I tweeted about it and what I'm doing today all day is doing a little, uh, well, Instagram stories, like working really hard on my story and updating loads and loads of things, loads of pictures of Instagram stories. So if you haven't seen it yet, you still might be able to catch it if you click on my Instagram and find it out. The link is, as always, down there in the box with all the other links, so thank you so much for checking out what I do. I keep my Instagram very much themed, so I only pretty much most of the time just do outfit shots and try to keep it that way. So if you're interested in just seeing like outfit shots, that's there. But then on my stories, I do things about Japan so you can see life, what I'm actually doing on the day. And that will be stuff that um, might not go on YouTube, actually, so you can be a little bit closer. I think that's what I like about Instagram stories, that is that you're very, very close to everyone because it's happening there and it's happening right now. Woo! So today, quick thing, what I want to do is I bought some things from the Disney Store Japan and they did again a collaboration with the Lita Brands. If you've seen it before, you know what I mean. It's very exciting when they do that because it is affordable and it's usually together with a Disney character on the dress. So I actually got two this time. So let's unbox them. As you can see, the wardrobe behind me is a uh, very much stuff with Lolita dresses and it's like literally bursting with Lolita dresses. Disney always does, or a lot of times does collaborations with brands. So for example, this one was the Angelic Pretty collaboration with Mari and that one done really, really well. It came out March last year. So it was perfect there for my birthday. So it was like my birthday dress last year. And it was a very, very lovely dress. I think they've done a great job with this. So they thought, apparently because it's sold well, let's do this one more time. And I must say the result was wasn't quite as good so it took me some time I wasn't I wasn't sure whether I should buy it straight away I was like uh. so this was the original and the one that they did this year wasn't quite as good in quality they lost a little bit of it so that's why I didn't buy it new when it came out at the time but I waited for it to go down in price because I was like I'm not gonna buy it at this price I don't think other people are gonna buy it at this price so it went half price Ta -da! there it is so it came in the Disney Store Japan bag, you can see here, bear, you can see here, Mr. Mouse. And we are gonna dive into this lovely thing. So this time the Mari dress is called Mari Hide and Seek. And online it didn't look as pink, but in real life it's very pink. Incredibly so! So that's why I was a bit reluctant, because it's really, really neon pinkish. Which I'm trying to avoid buying too many pink dresses recently because I'm like, can I still wear this? So this is the, the Mary Hide and Seek and it is cute, but I like comparing dresses and as you can see, so this was uh, the Mary dress that came out before and it had like print all the way, all the way around, loads and loads of print. Well, this one here, uh, they did a different thing with the sleeves, they just made them baby pink and then they had the print on the dress here. Uh, very very but uh, the material of this one is nice it has kind of like a little bit of a touch to it and uh, as you can see this one here has a collar where this one has a kind of turtleneck high collar and a massive bow at the front and I've done that before with Angelique Pretty with a massive bow at the front and people were like oh this might be a little bit too big and I even thought this might be a little bit too big but um, I think it's just still just okay I think it just is okay. Unfortunately, you can't take it off in case you feel like it's too much. But I still wanted it because it was half price and it was Mari. And I love actually all the Disney dresses because they're very, very nice and wearable in summer. It's a chiffon material. They're easy to wash. So I kind of put a tweet up on my Twitter and asked you guys, shall I get the skirt? Shall I get the dress? I can't decide because it's so pink. And you guys were like, come on, get, cat, get the dress. And that's kind of what I wanted to hear. Like, I'm trying to tell myself not to be so pink is what I'm saying, but I'm wearing it. Pink dress right now. <laughs> so, yeah, this is the Mary hide and seek dress, and uh, it has no sharing, which the other dress had, which surprised me. So, there's no sharing on this one. The other one had sharing. There's a zip that goes up, uh, it came in two sizes in M and in L. And if you focus closer and look at the print, it is Mary here at the bottom going round. 
which is nice, but because they cut it, it doesn't quite always line up. So you can see here at the corners that the bow is kind of disappearing a little bit, and here, Mari is getting a little bit cut off. So that's what I mean with the change in quality. I think they didn't put as much effort into it with, uh, as with the old Mari dress, but it was still nice to get it half price uh, in the Disney store. So I was like, okay, well, for half price, can't really say anything. It's summer now, so this is probably gonna be one of my summer dresses that I can just wear and then like wear once and then wash them because again, shipping, easy to wash material. So, and the frills at the bottom, the frills, frills. Gosh, yeah, I'm such a hypocrite. I'm just talking about not wearing pink dresses and then look at this, but it's a different shade of pink. It's not the kind of, you know, salmon pink. It's a very pinky pink. Oh, what else? I'm just sounding like I'm making up excuses, but I wanted this dress anyway, so yeah. Ta-da! And this is how the dress actually looks foreign and I must say it actually is very nice and floaty and I actually like it. I'm so glad I got this! I mean the bow at the front is quite large and it is kind of a little bit bulky and a little bit in the way but I mean in theory if you were, didn't really like it you could take it off or shorten it here. I usually don't mess with my dresses though because I don't want to ruin them in case I kind of pass them on to someone else in the future. So yeah, this is the dress. And I must say it's actually really nice. So it was a good buy. But there was one thing. I recently watched The Beauty and the Beast. Beauty and the Beast. Mary Jess was a collaboration with Angel Lee Pretty. The next dress was a color was a collaboration with Baby the Star Shine Bright. Oh, got it. Sorry. Here we go. So again, Disney Store original bag, nice little sticker. This time, oh, no sticker actually. Okay. <laughs> they did have the dress. They did have the dress, but in this case, I didn't like how it was cut at the top. So I decided I'm not, this time actually not gonna go for the dress. I collect, I'm kind of collecting all the Angelique Pretty Disney collaboration dresses. But with this one I went for the skirt because the print is so cute and it's so classical. And you can already see in style, it's a very, very different style to the Angelique Pretty dress because this is baby the sunshine bright. And literally with the roses and so on, it's beautiful and classical, but they kept it yellow because of course, Belle's dress is yellow in the movie, so that was what I did. And you have a little, it has a little bow here, which I think works. And you have sash, sashes, which you can actually also take off, which is quite exciting that they actually let you do that, because usually with the Disney collaboration dresses, you can't really take those off. Uh, at the front, it's strong. At the back, it has shearing, lots of shearing, and it came in M, and it came in L. But also, I want to show you all the detail on this skirt, because it's such a cute skirt. So this is the bow, which you cannot take off, but it has like a little bit of glitter attached to it. Let's have a look at the print. Here you can see Belle as she is beautiful holding the rose. So they actually did a special design for it. And then you can see, for example, Cotsworth, Cotsworth. And uh, you see Madame Teapot and Chip. And again, you have a different Belle here. So there's loads of design going on here. Yeah, and then we're back to square. Where's Lumiere? Oh, there is the rose. The rose and it says Beauty and the Beast and I'm trying to find Lumiere right now because you should be here, right? It's not the Beauty and the Beast if there's not Lumiere in this dress. Huh, I can't find him right now. Kittens, if you know where Lumiere is on this dress, then please let me know because I can't spot him. Where is my favorite French candlestick? So obviously I got those, whoops. So obviously I got those during different times, but I put them together and waited like a good girl to actually make a video for you guys so you could see it. I have actually reviewed the other Disney dresses that have been released, the other collaboration dresses. So if you're curious about that one, there is a playlist. I will put it at the end of the video. Be sure to click that and check out what other Disney dresses uh, there are, what collaboration Disney has done with Lolita fashion brands here in Japan, because I find that quite exciting and it's a good way to actually spread the brand across Japan and not just having them in the stores, because they're always, always a lot cheaper than actually if you buy them at a Lolita fashion brand store. So if you're curious about getting one of those, always have a look if they're online. Sometimes you can still get them at the Disney store half price if you actually go into the store. And sometimes people are selling those on second hand as well and it's a bit of a bargain. 
because obviously they're originally cheaper as well. That was my dress review. I do loads of other dress reviews. If you know, you know. If you don't know, then you should subscribe because I do that kind of stuff here on my channel. I hope you enjoyed this. And as always, do what you love, love what you do, keep wearing what you love doing, and I hope I see you for another video soon from my plays. There will also be videos from my old plays because I still haven't edited some of them. So they shall be coming up soon as well to you. So I hope you have a lovely day and I'll catch you soon. Bye!